so we'll do this and next question together. Um, they both involve solenoids. And uh, I'm basically going to end up using the same formula for both of them. So the question says, solenoid has 18 turns per centimeter. Okay. Um, and so we are given, uh, let me just start jotting down the information given. We are given n, uh, number of, so this is the turns per length. Uh, what current will produce magnetic field 2.5 um, times 10 to the minus 2 Tesla within the solenoid? So we are given B that we are trying to produce. So, um, so I think the the hint will um, tell us to go to the section, and we'll use the derived expression for the solenoid. We've done in the lecture how to drive this uh, uh, the formula for solenoid magnetic field using Ampere's law. So I'll just leave that there, and not redo the work again, and just to use the formula that's in the textbook. So, looking through the textbook, solenoids. Oh, your textbook does this weird way, I remember now. Um, it doesn't use Ampere's law, it uses a Biosavart's law, which is crazy. Uh, if you have a finite solenoid, yes, that's the only way to do it. But for infinitely long solenoid, like this is the crazy way to drive it. You should just use Ampere's law, uh, which my lecture does. So, uh, is it also okay? It, I guess it's doing Ampere's law again. That, never mind. Um, in any case, that is the formula. We are just gonna use it. Um, so we have the expression for the magnetic field uh, of a solenoid, uh, which is uh, permeability of free space, also colloquially known as magnetic constant, times the the loop density, turn density of solenoid, times I. And I think uh, when you are driving it, uh, technically it should be a circular turns. I think if a turn is a different shape, then that does mess up your derivation. So, and let me just write the version of it using the constants that I'm going to insist that we keep on using. Again, I'm using this correspondence uh, between the magnetic constant and the Coulomb's constant and the speed of light. So using that, this formula can be written as 4 pi k e over c squared times n times i. So um, we have the formula. Uh, we are being asked for current, not the magnetic field. So we will take this and solve it for current. Solving it for current. That's going to do the algebra in my head. You should double check me. Uh, make sure I didn't make any mistakes. And uh, this should be the expression for the current. And I think everything's just a given, so we'll just uh, plug it in. Uh, yeah, 18 turns per centimeter. So for it to for this solenoid the formula to apply, it'll have to be pretty long solenoid. Uh, so, okay, um, speed of light squared times. Um, so 2.1 times 10 to the power of minus 2 Tesla divided by 4 pi times Coulomb's constant times n. So I should have put it as 8 divided by centimeter. Turn is not a unit, so I can just skip it. Um, yeah, that should be it. And again, hoping that it will give me a quantity in unit of ampere. Um, understood me correctly. Yeah, you need of ampere, 9.28 ampere. Is that right? Probably right. That turns uh, feel like that's not a lot of turns. And, you know, I think my number sense is messed up. That could be actually a uh, uh, fairly densely packed um, number of turns. I I don't build solenoids that often. Um, so <laughs> I should just <laughs> not say anything. When I don't have a well-developed number sense for these situations yet anyway. So let me, uh, before I erase this, let me make sure to do the next question, which is going to rely on the same set of expressions. So let me save some work by just doing the next question. It's asking if a current is, okay, so we are changing what quantity is given and what quantity is being looked for. So current is now being given. Uh, how many turns per centimeter? Ah, okay. So we are being asked for this. Must be wound on a solenoid in order to produce. Okay. I'm pretty sure the hint here is identical. It'll just tell it, oh, look up the formula. <laughs> so, uh, so let me cross this out. 
and just to resolve this four and here. So let me do it in pink. Pink is a little bit hard to stare at. So solving for n, again, I'm just going to do this in my head, double check my algebra. n is going to be equal to c squared times magnetic field of solenoid divided by 4 pi times ke times i. Oh, I could have saved some work if I just swapped these two. Oh, well. Um, so let me plug it in and see. Um, yeah, this might give you the number of terms similar to the question we just did. Oh, let me reuse this. Speed of light squared. Uh, not the same Tesla, but lower. 2.7 times 10 to the power minus 3 Tesla. 4 pi times Coulomb constant. Yeah, and here it's going to be now current. Uh, 1.6 ampere. And um, so it should give me something in the unit of inverse length. And let's see. Uh, yeah, reciprocal meters, it does it. It's not doing reciprocal centimeters, so let me say in centimeter raised to the power of minus one. So, yeah, okay. So 13.43, or so 13.4 um, turns per centimeter. Yeah, that's pretty close to the other number that we had. So I'm beginning to build my <laughs> number sense. The thing about number sense is it, comes from just uh, looking at, uh, you know, a lot of numbers. <laughs> um, it's the kind of thing that if you do any experimental work in a field that you, even if you didn't want to, you end up developing over uh, some length of time. Um, so the kind of situations that I don't have number sense for are the situations I didn't have to deal with as an experimental physicist. So 